my God, why is it still snowing? It makes no sense. It's spring technically. I had to wear snowshoes to get over here. Can I at least get a coffee, please? Thank you, God. Mm. I'm your host and best friend, Alex Melky, and this is Anchorman MTO. I am the disco. All right, so this past week, there was a second electoral debate here in Quebec. Now you had the PQ, the Liberals, the CAC, and the Quebec Solidaire come together one more time, like a bunch of orangutans throwing shit at each other to dish out some last minute beef. Here are the Sparks notes. Liberal leader Philippe Couillard actually had to defend his integrity after opposing the Charter of Values. That's f***ed up. I who accused Couillard of scaring people into thinking the PQ wanted a referendum, even though she's doing a great job of that herself. The CAC's Legault brought up the Arthur Porter fiasco, and then both Legault and Marois tried linking Couillard to some sort of Jean Charest corruption conspiracy. Couillard definitely took a beating and kept on rolling. And remember, 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 on April 7th, go vote in Montreal. Vote for me. Forget about the other candidates. Everything will be made out of Nutella. Every day will be Friday and everyone will get a free jetpack. The STM is going green. No, not like the Hulk, as in environmentally friendly. The STM is kickstarting their projects with electric buses. Now they're going to start off with one bus going on eight routes throughout the month of April. Normally you'd think doing it in April would be a little late, but this is Montreal after all. The bus is all electric, Chinese built, and just one of the many models the STM is considering adopting as the city standard. Philip Schnaub, the STM's new president, says there's a bunch more where that came from. Among them, underground cell reception, new metro cars, and a way to charge your Opus card directly from your laptop. That's right, you can just get your monthly pass straight from your house. You don't even have to leave. I don't understand why everybody's so hung up on electric buses. Like, you can't even put them in the water, so how am I supposed to navigate the waterways of life? I'll just use my surfboard. Now, if you thought Montrealers loved hockey, wait till you find out how much they love their baseball. Almost 100,000 baseball baseball fans flocked to the Big O this past Friday and Saturday for an exhibition series. Both games were totally sold out, twice as many asses in seats than Ivanka would guesstimated. The Toronto Blue Jays and New York Mets took the field, but it was the Montreal Expos that took the hearts of Montrealers. I got a little cheesy there, but it's true, this short event reinvigorated the love this city has for baseball. Swing, bada bada bada, swing, bada bada, I'm playing baseball in Montreal. Now, unless I'm getting to you before your Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter accounts, you know Miley Cyrus performed in Montreal this past weekend. The queen of what the f came sliding down her own tongue attached to her own giant head, followed that up by spitting water all over the goddamn place. Miley, if your music career doesn't work out, you can always get a job as a sprinkler. And Montreal has had some fun tweeting about the event. A Saunders 87 said, I really thought bangers tour Montreal had to do with porn and nothing to do with Miley Cyrus. I'm not all that hip to the jive. Annabelle said, no, that f that one. Here's a picture of Miley Cyrus riding a giant hot dog because she's so freaking classy. And this picture just says, f Daddy, daddy, come see what Miley Cyrus taught me through the power of her voice. Now, every week at mtlblog.com, I lovingly stalk your Instagram pictures looking for really cool pictures of Montreal. And this week, Instagram at La Rose took a really cool picture of Habitat 67 from across the river. Now, check out La Rouse's Instagram account and check out mtlblog.com's Instagram account. And the next time that you're just casually walking around Montreal and you see something that's kind of Instagram worthy, take a picture, hashtag it mtlblog, and you might see it in next week's video. Wait, pause. Stacy just texted me. I gotta poop, but first, let me take a selfie. So that's gonna be it for this week's episode of Anchorman MTL. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe for the ability to walk through walls. And check out mtlblog.com for the best crepe restaurants in Montreal, five secret Montreal locations that no one knows about, and the latest and greatest of what this city has to offer. Now I'm gonna go put off writing an essay for three hours before realizing I've made a horrible mistake. Yeah, I know, I know, Stacy. No, I just got out of the shower. No, did you see her Instagram account? It's insane. No, she went home with that Roger guy. I swear, he was talking to me for like three days. I don't understand it. So anyways, how's your brother Steve? Is he still single? Does he talk about me? What do you mean, what do I mean? You know what I mean, Stacy. Whatever, I'm still gonna try for Roger. I think he's cute.